there this is Dami Lola welcome to my youtube channel in case you're just joining this youtube channel for the first time on this channel i talk about things relating to productivity personal development entrepreneurship and at times i even talk about relationship so don't be surprised when you see videos on relationship on this channel so um please if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell it gives me so much joy and so much pleasure whenever i see that you subscribe and as well as engage with lots of my videos so today i wanted to talk about how to focus on one particular task I understand that it's very hard for us to concentrate, especially in this age of social media, digitalization all over, like social media messages, text messages, it's just flying all around us. So it could be really hard for us to concentrate and concentrate fully on completing just one particular task. And before I go ahead to talk about how to concentrate and all of that, a lot of things we've um, seen or we've read from other personal development coaches, they tell us, oh, you have to multitask to achieve so many things, you can multitask to do so many things and achieve greater productivity results. But that's not true. Research and studies have proven that multitasking doesn't work. It doesn't work absolutely. And here is the reason why multitasking doesn't work. The first reason is, the human brain is not designed to multitask. Yeah, that's the first reason that multitasking doesn't work. The human brain is designed to focus on one task at a time. And here is what happens when you multitask. When you multitask, you increase the cognitive load on your brain. And when you increase the cognitive load on your brain, what happens? The productivity level of your brain or the performance level of your brain drops. So there is a declining rate in the performance level of your brain when you focus, when you increase, when you try to do so many things at a time. And the second reason multitasking does not really work is because it increases your anxiety and stress level. When you try to do so many things at a time, this is what happens to you. The human brain begins to increase, begins to produce so many stress hormones. And you remember that whenever you're stressed, you become tired and probably frustrated. So these are some of the reasons that multitasking doesn't work. But here is the big deal. How do we then concentrate on completing one thing at a time before moving to another? And that's exactly what I wanted to talk about today. So the first thing I advise or the first thing I suggest whenever you want to focus, you're trying to focus on completing one task is engage in moments of deep work. By deep work, I mean that you should try as much as possible to concentrate, create specific times where you concentrate on completing just one thing. Don't bring anything into it. Just try as much as possible. Concentrate on just one thing. You could create a routine of specific times in a day where you do just one thing. No distraction. I understand that this is very hard. I remember two years ago or thereabouts, I read a book by Carl Newport. The title of the book is Deep Work. Carl Newport was trying to explain this principle of deep work. Deep work is a skill. It is not something you can do in just one day. It is something you do over time. So let's say today you create specific time of 5 a.m. till 7 a.m. You say, this is exactly what I will be doing by this time. So between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m., you're not doing any other thing else. You're not replying messages. You're not replying um, calls. So the only thing you'll be doing between that time is just that particular thing it's going to sap your brain it's going to sap your energy but the good news is when you concentrate on doing just that one particular thing within that particular time frame you would achieve a higher level of productivity than doing so many things so the second thing i would advise you to do if you're trying to focus on one thing is regulate your social media usage this is one of the biggest problems we have in this generation we are so distracted by social media that's the truth because whatsapp messages are coming in um, instagram messages are coming in twitter messages facebook just everywhere then 
so it could be really really hard especially with this noise um, on social media news everything is flying at us from different directions so it could be really hard concentrating but what you could do is regulate how often you use your social media let me give an example of myself what I did there was a time I observed it social media was beginning to take a very huge toll on me so this is what I decided to do I decided to create time limits for social media on my phone that was what I did so I told myself on a daily basis I'm not expected or I'm not allowed to use more than one hour on social media so um, when I created the time limits on my phone, immediately I use more than, immediately gets one hour, I spend one hour on any of the social media platforms, it automatically logs me out and it could be really tempting at times, I, I, I might be tempted to probably go and um, get extra time limits, but I have to discipline myself that, oh, one hour is one hour. Because I, I, I discovered that the biggest source of my own distraction was social media. So I, had it, I needed to create limits. Before I go ahead to talk about the third strategy of how to focus completely on just one task, I just wanted to remind you that in case you haven't subscribed to this channel, don't forget to do that. Um, it gives me so much joy to have you subscribe and please share your comments about how you've been able to concentrate, how uh, probably your own strategy, uh, because your strategy may be different from mine. Tell me your experience about how you're able to curb some of um, these distractions and concentrate on just completing one task. So I wanted to say that the third strategy for me is eliminating all other forms of distractions before I go ahead to eliminate all other forms of distraction the first thing I do is I even identify what are my distractions so maybe you haven't identified your own distraction you should also do that try to identify take a seat relax and ask yourself what are the things really really distracting me from executing some of the important things I need to do so you have to ask yourself that question identify those things that really distract you it could be okay let's say it could be your phone let's say it could be music let's say it could be your siblings it could be your family it could be anything it could be your pet yeah it could be your pet or it could even be your mind it could be you have some thoughts in your mind you're battling with some things you're thinking of so try to identify some of those things and work on them especially when it's your moments of deep work, try as much as possible to concentrate on just that particular task you have at hand. And the last thing which I would say before calling it a quit for this video is always evaluate the progress you're making. It is super important. The reason why this is important is the more you evaluate the process, the progress you're making concerning that particular task and you see that you're making um, substantial progress, you feel excited to complete it. So from time to time, take out some moments So even just evaluate how far have you gone, how much of time have you spent on this task and how much of time you have left and how much of progress have you made. So that's where I'm going to be wrapping up this video for today. Please stay around, stick around the channel, check some other videos that we have on this channel. Um, I would really be happy to see you on the other video. My name remains Damilola. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.